This video is powered by Foodmaker. So the question is, what should I eat right before the training? Yes. What should we eat during tournaments? How to come back after lockdown? The Corona kilos, Martin. What should I drink during the training? How much protein intake is required for a Taekwondo athlete? Your body is like, like a car. When you don't put fuel in it, yes. it won't drive. Exactly. Hello everyone, it's Jawad Ashab here. In this video, I will show you exactly what I eat as a professional athlete and to talk also about how important healthy nutrition is uh, for Taekwondo and sports in general. And we will also answer to your questions, not me of course, because I'm not the specialist, but... I'm the specialist. I'm Martijn from Foodmaker and I'm a sports nutritionist and I'm gonna answer your questions. Thanks Martijn. So I went to Martijn and his colleagues in the Foodmaker factory. I did a tour like uh, where they make food production. It was very interesting and very nice experience for me. So I did record it to show you exactly how they prepare food and also to answer to all of your questions. And we did also a Taekwondo session in the Foodmaker factory. So we did have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. This is the Foodmaker factory. I'm really curious to see it and everything will happen here for today. gonna start washing, cutting um, and cleaning all the vegetables. Yes. And that's actually the first part of our kitchen. Everything that we receive from the, the other deliveries, we label it by our own and we have our own uh, high quality program to, to have always a high quality product at the end of the yes. so as you can see all the goods are coming in like you see it on the field you can see here they are making a sauce who's ready they fill it up and and bags and afterwards it's going to the big fridges Yes. And then because everything what's coming out of this kitchen has a lot of temperature. You can see there are a lot of people yes. busy making Caesar wrap. Yes. One of my favorites. important for us, everybody who works in the production here has all day um, daylight because as you saw there, there was no daylight because it's a fridge, yes. but here in all the, the high care zones, this is the high care, everybody has a little bit view from the outside, yes, yes. not that the weather is so good in Belgium, <laughs> but the people like it a lot. Here you see all the, the finished products, yes. they take and making it ready to leave uh, the company going to the shops. Yes. Going to the last, going to France, to Monoprix, to the Netherlands. Uh, to my house, and, to me. <laughs> and to you as well, of course. <laughs> to prepare you as well for the Olympics. Exactly. <laughs> now it's time to answer to your questions, guys. I feel like a journalist who's gonna interview Martin. <laughs> Like you know guys, I mostly eat food maker, so they take care of my nutrition. I couldn't answer to your questions because he's the specialist, so that's why I came directly to him. Tell me how important um, nutrition and healthy foods for Taekwondo or sports in general? I always say you, you can't make a, a good athlete with bad food, but you can make out of great athlete with bad food, you make them a bad athlete. So we, with the good food, we provide you to, to doing the exercises as well and make sure everything went well. But 
we can't make the difference with food from a bad athlete, we can't make a, a perfect athlete, yes. but otherwise we can. Yes. So in that factor, uh, nutrition is really important. Um, but what I see a lot with amateur athletes, they focus really well on the sport specific mm -hmm. nutrition, like the, the supplements, the whey supplements and everything. Mm -hmm. But what they lose out uh, most of the time is the basic nutrition. And that's yeah. something we, we provide with Foodmaker really well for you. Because mm -hmm. when, when the base is not right, it's not necessary to focus on the top level. Yes. So that's something that's really important for you. And then we kind of take a look. Before your exercise, we, we provide you with the carbohydrates to have a lot of power to do mm -hmm. the exercise. Yeah. Afterwards, the, the proteins, but that's something we, we figure out together. Yes. Mm -hmm. You send me different meals. Yes. What do I get from these meals? So, uh, with the whole meal plan, looking on a week, we, we provide you with enough carbohydrates because the carbohydrates is really important to give you a lot of energy before your exercise because mm -hmm. Taekwondo, we saw it as really high intensity and because of the high intensity, how higher intensity your exercise is, how much more carbohydrates you're going to use mm -hmm. during the exercise. Does that, that is something really important for you, so that's why we have a lot of couscous, the pastas, yes. um, a wrap or something. And then afterwards, when the training is done, your, your muscle needs to uh, heal afterwards, mm -hmm. and that we're going to do with the protein. So that's why we always use, a, for example, the chickens out there, uh, the tuna salad yeah. or something, because those are the proteins. And then when we have a good mixture during those two, we also provide you that you have minimal of 300 grams of uh, vegetables during the day, mm -hmm. because vegetables, it's something important for your vitamins and everything. And because you're having uh, indoor sport mm -hmm. you don't have uh, the, the influence of the sun like vitamin d it's already yeah. difficult so we provide you with everything uh, with the vegetables when you have 300 grams a day you have everything all the vitamins in you so so that's the mixture we try to do for you very nice to have a, a nice balance you should listen and apply not just listen <laughs> very important thank you martin um, I have the next question uh, from Jayanta Dora. Uh, he said, hello Ashab, I am your biggest fan and I have seen all of your videos, but I always think what you eat. Can you please give some video about your meal? He just explained it, it's done. And next one, what should we eat during tournaments? Mm -hmm. So we have competition, mm -hmm. um, competition day. Yeah. What do we have to eat? That depends on what time you're going to start on a tournament because, for example, when your tournament starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. the day before, the last meal is already important and then we need to provide you with enough carbohydrates because that's the thing you're going to use the most during the day. Mm -hmm. But when, uh, let's say, your, your tournament will start at the afternoon at 1 o'clock, for example, then we still have the time before to, to provide you with the carbohydrates. Most of the time I recommend two, three hours before the tournament, having your last big meal. Mm -hmm. And then during the, the tournament, you can provide yourself with some snacks. Yes. Uh, and also some, uh, it depends on the humidity. Mm -hmm. Like in Tokyo, it will be very hot. So then it's good to, to use a isotonic uh, sports drink. Yes. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know what you, you like to use because then we provide the the water in your system, but also the carbohydrates. And that's something we try to put up uh, on the same level during the tournament because we want you on the same level in the first match as in the last one. Yes. But during the tournament, it's important don't have too much fibers, um, not too much vegetables because those products will stay longer in your stomach as mm -hmm. well as really fat rich products. Mm -hmm. So for those products, um, let them on the side and when you win the competition, you can have a fresh yeah. rice. <laughs> don't, don't do it during yes. the exercise. But do you know, Martin, I, I thought about something very important. There are many people that ask, what should I eat in the day of competition, mm -hmm. for example, or the day before? But for me, what most important that I learned after the Olympics in 2016 is the lifestyle uh, mm -hmm. nutrition. It's not just like if I eat like just junk food yes. uh, during all the season and the day of competition, I follow your, your, uh, your um, tips, for example, yes. and I will perform. This is not realistic. No. I think the lifestyle mm -hmm. needs to be... Because also uh, on the, let's say, one month or two months before the competition, you're also going to try your nutritional plan during a training mm -hmm. because you also need to adapt because for somebody just uh, let's say some wine gums will work but mm -hmm. somebody else needs a sport specific uh, sport gel for yes. example I don't know yes. I'm just telling something mm -hmm. but that's something that has an influence on your body you need to train it as well mm -hmm. and when you uh, 
going for a tournament and live one week healthy, have the nutrition as well, your body will say, oh, what is this? Mm -hmm. So it's important to have a base that always provides you with the 300 grams yes. of vegetables, the uh, same amount of carbohydrates and proteins. Mm -hmm. You can have a cheat meal or cheat day, of course, because, but let's say six days out of seven, yes. let's say one, one meal, but it's also important to, to figure it in in your uh, sport specific yes. nutritional plan because when you're having a cheat meal, for example, don't plan it uh, just before training or when you have big training the day after, yes. you need to provide the proteins because the recovery as well is really important yeah. for, your, for your body. Yes, 100%. I agree. I agree because some, some of them, they, they cheat always. Yes. And they want to eat healthy when the competition comes. That's this not is right. not realistic. You can have a cheat meal after the competition. It's yes. fine to, to have a, a moment like that, but providing you uh, during the year yeah. of healthy food, that would be the base. Otherwise, yes. no yes. go. Yes, I agree 100%. Next question, um, very important one. How to come back after lockdown? We all know that the Corona kilos, Martin, uh, yes. many people um, me also, I get one or two kilos extra. I know many of you uh, get maybe more or less. Uh, what do you think, Martin, it's to come back? When, when you focus on coming back, it's important to don't l focus on the weight, losing it in two weeks or something, mm -hmm. because that would be a very high calorie restriction mm -hmm. and the quality of the training will go down. Okay. So that's something we, we need to provide uh, a little bit lower calorie intake mm -hmm. but still a good amount to doing a good exercise yes and when we talk about calorie reduction we always going to take a look at what is the exercise and provide you for enough calories before the exercise and to recover from the exercise and then on the day uh, you don't have exercise or you, or you have enough time to recover on those days we're going to reduce the calorie amount so mm -hmm. then you will lose fluidly weight Mm -hmm. but not really strict oh yeah tomorrow i'm gonna start again yes. we're gonna focus we ain't gonna eat and we're gonna go 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 yes and then you you have too much damage on the muscle but you won't lose that much fat and so in that amount i would uh, advise to to take the time yes so longer longer time yes. not like a short time project like I, okay i al always say when i eat one day a salad, I ain't gonna lose 10 kilo, but I, when I go one time to the McDonald's, I ain't gonna gain yes. 10 kilos. So that's yes. always the same. So, so you need to lose the weight mm -hmm. on a long time. Yeah. Let's say not focus two weeks. Oh yeah, I ain't eat that, 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 that. Mm -hmm. And when that, those two weeks are done, I'm gonna fo oh, skip it and you're gonna yes. regain the weight. Yes. So that's and even more sometimes, yes. I hear many people that they have a, a short time project, I lose weight, in two weeks it happens, they are very happy after two weeks, they get more then, than they were before, yes. you know? So that would be my advice to take it slowly, have the good amount of calories before your exercise, thinking about your recovery, when you want to drink, uh, let's say, a beer or something, don't put it too short on your uh, on your exercise because your reco your uh, recovery moment yes. will go will be stop. So so that's something I provide to it slowly. Yes 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 yes. But for the beer, I don't drink it. Anymore, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next question from Sim Ego: What is a good maaltijd for a trainer? That's in Netherlands. Mm -hmm. He asks in Dutch. But we will answer to uh, in English. Yes, to so, uh, for other people. So the question is, what should I eat right before the training? Yes. So right before the training, it's a little bit different as a regular healthy meal, because when we let's say uh, before the exercise, when we're gonna put um, some fibers in it, like whole grains mm -hmm. and uh, salad. You have too much fibers in your body and your stomach will need to work too much. So before training, we would like to say, have just a, a clean pasta with a little bit of sauce, but focus on the pasta or some white bread, mm -hmm. a little bit of rice or something like that. So clean carbohydrates, yeah. as we say, and we can, you can put a banana on it, for example, yeah. uh, because it's rich in carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. But the meal before the exercise, especially for Taekwondo or for a long cycling race, uh, focus on the carbohydrates. Yes. Yeah. What should I drink during the training? Mm -hmm. 
During the training, uh, it depends a little bit on uh, the high intensity of the training and the duration of the training because uh, when you have a high intensity training, uh, longer than 90 minutes, we can say you need to use an isotonic sports nutrition uh, drink. Drinks, yeah. um, but otherwise, when it's less than 90 minutes and the intensity isn't that high, it's not always necessary to add the carbohydrates and you just can use water. Yeah, which food helps to develop strength and speed and which food sh should I mm -hmm. avoid? That's uh, a nice question. Huh? Mm, that's a nice question. Like I already told, high intensity training, carbohydrates, but also focus on the proteins afterwards. We have the next one from Mazin Amin. He said, can, can you give some nutrition tips? All the tips you gave us. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe, Martin, just in shortest yes. way possible to say what is the best nutrition? The best thing is to, to focus on, on the nutritional base, like say, with enough uh, fruit and vegetables, like I told, the 300 grams of uh, vegetables during the day with a clean amount of carbohydrates, proteins and fatty acids. And when you have that kind of base, you can focus on the sports specific uh, supplements like mm -hmm. the whey shakes or something. But that's something the people who are focused with sport, they take a look at the top level, yeah. but they ain't looking at the base and yeah. when that's not right it, it hasn't it has mm -hmm. no effect to, to use the supplements so my advice would be have a good clean nutritional plan but focus on the basics yes we we are uh, busy with with building an app mm -hmm. so you can add your weight your hours of sleep your uh, activity level and everything and then we can tell you how much Ca uh, calories you need during the day, split it up in carbohydrates, fatty acids and uh, proteins. Um, as well you can say, okay I'm gonna run tomorrow, let's say half a marathon. Mm -hmm. He can already tell us, okay the amount of calories should be higher tomorrow, but today should also be, be a little bit higher to focus on the training that will come. Mm -hmm. But that's something we also yeah. gonna add to that. But for the moment, um, we also have a basic nutritional plan of food maker, like we call it the back on track. Yeah. So we provide you every day of 1800 calories during the day with 300 grams of uh, vegetables with the same level of uh, fatty acids, carbohydrates uh, and proteins. So when you have that as base, you have, you know, I have my 1800 calories, what should be uh, good for, let's say somebody who's a little bit active but not sport specific active yeah, yeah. and then we have also a plan with uh, 1200 calories so for like say a woman of the height of 1 meter 60 who has a, a job with not much movement yeah. then 1800 calories would be too much but still the base is always the same 300 grams of uh, vegetables during the day and the same amount of carbohydrates fat and uh, proteins so that that's already a good base and then when you focus on the the sports nutritional yeah. tips it will yeah. be perfect yes i think you guys you have no excuses anymore about nutrition we have all information thank you very much martin You're welcome i will put the website of foodmaker to know more about the app about nutrition plans about the back on track program about anything i will put the website on description go on it and you will have all informations. Martin, thank you very much. You're welcome. I really feel like a journalist here, like <laughs> an interview, uh, like an interview and stuff like this. But thank you very much. Martin. Now exercising. Yes, exactly. Not talking, but do it. Yes, yes. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We did see the factory. Now we, I will make them visit my factory, the Taekwondo factory. Adem als jullie met frisse water, drink maar. 2, 4, 6, oké. Kungi! Chumbi! Ah, ah, ah. 
Just don't feel the same. Oh, oh, oh. 